Alright, welcome back. We are now looking at the uh, Protoss push. Genius moving out. He is moving up to the high ground with his Colossus and pr really looking pretty dangerous here. A bunker does arrive. That poor SCV just gets smoked. Vikings overhead. And at this stage, I mean, Loner is under siege. Putting a force field completely surrounding <clears throat> the bunker there. These Vikings getting a couple nice shots. The shields for the Colossus almost uh, down to zero. I want to take a look at the resource tab. Uh, Protoss player leading by about nine supply here. And of course, um, still, you know, five tech labs. Wow. That uh, was a little bit surprising to me. You know, usually you see um, a little, uh, you know, maybe one reactor mixed in there. But I mean, nonetheless, Loner has seen the, the unit composition pretty stalker heavy. For sure, Marauders always good for sniping Colossi as well, but still uh, producing Marauders pretty purely Marauders at this point. You got to get some Vikings overhead as well. Very important to to try to snipe those Colossi. That poor SCV with 45 hit points probably took about 500 damage there. Just got destroyed by this Protoss army, and uh, the extended thermal lance on the way as well. Of course, absolutely vital upgrade especially when you're going up against the bio ball. You can just zone your enemy units so well, especially, I mean, with five sentries as well. Lots of force fields. I mean, take a look for them. Nice scan going down, but, I mean, the scan at the cost of a mule while we have this observer just continually keeping a very close eye on the Terran bio ball. I'd like to see Loner go a little bit more heavy on the Vikings for sure. He does not seem to have enough here for Vikings. I mean, there are only two Colossi as of now, but there's another Colossi on the way. And, um, yeah, I mean, when you're going pure Marauders, Colossi pretty powerful against them, especially when you can use force fields effectively. And it looks like the Terran player is going to be looking to, to do a push very shortly, massing up units just so heavy with the Marauders. Jeez, got almost 30 Marauders. Um, still only four Vikings overhead. Um, I'd like to see more. I, I mentioned that before, but that's just so important to get shots off on the Colossi. And this is looking like it's going to be a big exchange. Both players sort of feeling each other out, just sort of pushing back and forth, using the Vikings to get a few nice shots in on the Colossi. Using the high ground to his advantage, Loner is um, definitely having the, the territorial advantage here. And a Photon Cannon for, for good measure, and why not? Uh, weapons upgrade level one on the way and look like a big exchange here full stim packs going down on the marauders They're all in the orange. We have one Colossi gets taken out three more though getting lots of shots in those are good force fields as well Those force fields prevent the marauders from getting in a position to snipe the Colossi So lots of splash damage going down with those Colossus beams and the Terran player is forced back Protoss uh, next genius here is able to hold take a look at the army tab Able to uh, reinforce very quickly. Lots of zealots. <coughs> lots of zealots and 101 apiece here. So very close game at this stage. Really enjoying this. We're going to have to see what happens. This is, this is a pretty vicious battle going on here. Nice scan. At long last, loner scans to get rid of that damn observer that has just been haunting him like all game and last game as well. I like, uh, you know, sending this probe out for genius. He's going to make sure that... Loner hasn't taken, you know, any crafty expansions at the at the other mains on the map. Armor uh, upgrade following the um, initial ground weapons. Um, you know, good to take note of that. This is what you know Genius has decided to do going up against this many Marauders uh, in this PVT. And and I mean, for Loner, still just you know sticking with his build, just going mass Marauder. I'm not sure. Um, if this is, you know, going to work for him in the long run, just because, you know, Genius is established so readily that this is what Loner's doing. You know, he had the Observer in here for a long time, and he just knows he's going pure Marauder. So as long as Genius keeps enough sentries in the mix, and he still has five, and the energy on these sentries looking really good. This one at 200, and the rest of the sentries all have energy over 100. So that is certainly a lot of force fields that Genius is going to be able to use to his advantage. And quite a few scans going down. Seems like Loner's getting a little bit nervous. He's, he's dropping a lot of scans, making sure he knows what's going on. Um, this probe has put down a pylon. Um, going to be able to warp in reinforcements there, and Loner certainly is not aware of that just yet. SCV doing the same thing the probe was, but 
it's looking like uh, Next Genius is going to get into position. Both players getting pretty mined out at this point. Um, I mean, the natural still is some, but this is going to be a big exchange right here. Those Vikings overhead going to try to get some shots off on the Colossi. And the Marauders in good position right now, but again, with the force fields, excellent placement with those force fields. And I'm sure he's going to have more energy. Uh, Guardian shields as well, for sure. Very useful in this situation. Uh, all the Colossi do go down. Continuing to push in. Genius is trying to, you know, take out these, these Marauders. Ooh, the Vikings landing. That's not usually a, a, a strong play. Vikings just so weak on the ground. Uh-oh. All the SCVs off the line. That is certainly not good. And I don't think it was necessary. I really think that Loner is just sort of flustered at this point. V taking all these SCVs off the line multiplies, you know, and a lot of mining lost with, with that maneuver when really Genius was not looking to follow up that push. One Colossus out already. He's got another one on the way. Still a pretty healthy army, though, for each player. Uh, income tab showing, you know, exactly the same. And the army tab um, favoring Genius at this point, being a little bit uh, more efficient, you know, with his unit composition. He's got another observer um, up uh, uh, overhead, going to get some shots off on these supply depots. And, I, I mean, neither player taking a third base. So it's looking like there's going to be, you know, another couple battles here. But um, with, with uh, neither player really wanting to extend this game much longer just because, I mean, they're getting mined out and, and no one's building any more bases. So the micro of, you know, these remaining army units just so important at this stage. And that, ob oh shoot, <laughs> that observer barely surviving. Guardian shield going up. The zealots leading the way. The command center lifts off and oh my god, look at all these SCVs heading off the line. Getting a decent surround on that zealot, but now heading to the high ground. I like the positioning for next genius. Um, you know, very diverse. He's got the Zealots out in front. He's got the Guardian shield up. He's got the Colossi protected way in the back. And that's what Loner's trying to do. He's trying to focus down the Colossi. And it's easy to do if you have enough Marauders. But, well, it's the positioning. That's the vital piece. You've got to get the Marauders, you know, in range of the Colossi. But with nine range and with this many, you know, gateway units to protect the Colossus, it's, it's quite difficult for the Marauders uh, to snipe them. Good to have a couple medevacs, although they are running out of energy at this point. And it looks like Genius is ready to go. Here we go. This is going to be a big exchange as well. Three Colossi, that pretty vital number. We do have a, a reinforcing Viking, but one is just not going to be enough. All the SCVs off once again, reinforcing with more Zealots. And this is looking to be a huge exchange. Those Colossi beams just mowing down all of those Marauders. All the SCVs getting taken out. These Zealots going to work on... <laughs> the Marauders as well, and that is it. Loner calls GG, so Genius wins the 2010 Blizzard Invitational Tournament. Pretty huge. Genius just won $25,000. That's that's great. Like, round of applause for him. Pretty incredible. Twenty five grand richer and uh, bringing that title home to Korea. So good for him. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this little series I brought to you. And, I mean, if you're interested in more, check my channel. And I think that's all for today, guys. Take it easy. This is Hunter StarCraft here saying peace out.